This is a Kate McLaren, just a variant of a Snatcher anyway. Uh, it's got the green butt, in this case it's got the hot orange jungle cock cheek. Now, quite a simple fly to tie. Uh, certainly very productive uh, in many of the locks in the UK and Ireland. So, and maybe anywhere in the UK in the world where there's got a good midge hatch, this will certainly be a good fly to, to try. Now, to get the tag, I'm using a glow bright floss and number 12. What I'm going to do is just start at this point here, just take a waist piece away, wind down, form a small tag at the back. Now, what I normally do is come in with a tiny bit of super glue, which will obviously protect it, hold everything together at the back, and you just build a small tag up with floss, any excess just take it away. Now when you tie in the, the rib, which is a fine silver wire, just catch it on the side, full length of the body, and then wind up. Now what I'm doing here is just tapping the wire so it stays on the side and doesn't come round with the thread or the floss. Now at this point we change over to a a uni thread in black and it's a 8 -oh. Just change over, catch in the waist piece and the floss and then trim them both away. Then we head quickly down. Now the, the rib starts above the tag, not at the beginning, so basically if you see there it starts above it. Bodies are dyed black seals for. Keep it quite light, don't put it on too heavy. Uh, try and keep the shape of the hook, don't lose the shape of the hook. Just slide this up. Don't worry a wee bit, I mean if you see the green coming through, it, there's no, no issue with that, that'll just add to the colour of the fly. So don't, don't worry. Just keep it thin, stretching the floss out, oh, sorry, the seals fur as we go. Keep going until we're happy. So, the wire stop two to three mil or three mil from the the eye. When you're happy then you just take this away. The excess body hackles are could be a hen or a cock hackle. And it's a cock hackle with a saddle. It's a dyed black Hubert Miner. These are the ones come from Whiten. Put a wee bit of wax on my thread at this point. Just pair some of the fibres away and tie the stem in. Then you're looking, I usually try and do a full turn at the top and then it can be three to four turns down or even heavier, it's entirely up to yourself. You can bring the rib round first all the way to straight turn practically at the back and then rib. But maybe looking five to six turns on the way up. And then we can break that off. Draw anything going forward and back with your fingers. Just bring it straight up, follow it with the thread and put a ninth degree bend. That'll hold and keep the turns nice and tight. Down back up. Bend and break away the wire. Yeah, that looks. Now you can mess it up a bit more, just come in with some Velcro and bring out some of the seals for. You can see it looks, that's, that'll do fine. Um, like a, soften it a wee bit. Once it's been fished, it starts to look a bit better. Now the front hackle, you see you can put jungle cock on before this, or you can put it on after, I'm putting it on after in this case. And I'm just using here, the front hackle, this is a an indie neck cock neck. You could use a hen if you want. I'm just using the cock. And then looking for a nice clean feather. Length. Much just slightly longer than the body. That's broken that one. Make sure you get a nice clean one. 
It's fine. Now when you tie this in at the butt, so basically remove the fine fluff at the bottom, the good side of the feather facing yourself. Now turn the air, put a wee bit of wax on to make sure I've got plenty of grip. Trim this away. So you use a fine pair of hackle pliers here to wind this on. Now the first thing I'm going to do is fold it, just draw the fibres through your fingers and then wind on basically that edge, drawing back the fibres. Now if you this happen or break, and it does happen at times, just go back in. These are small light hackles, just make sure they're nice and tight, I mean it turns. And uh, they're very close. Come up against the thread. I usually carry one down towards the eye and fold it back. Take that off. Always keep the thread tight. Just have a wee check and if you're happy at this point you can always keep it. Or if you're not happy with the hackle, you can go back. Now that to me is fine. You could go a wee bit heavier with it but I'm fine with that because I'm putting these on jungle cock eyes. Now, what I've done here, just to give you an idea, this eye here is really shiny on the eye, but I've put some UV resin on there. Stops the eye splitting, and it adds a wee bit of shine to it. Now I'm going to do the same with this. It's very simple. We just get a light UV resin, and we just put it on the eye. So we just basically touch it. Just so it's like a, a drop. And then let's come in with our torch and we set the resin. Don't don't touch the fibres. Leave the fibres just that very end of the eye itself. And then get the pair them up. Always put them one together. So we line them up. So you're seeing the underside of the, the jungle cocks. So I hold the eyes and then I draw back what I don't want. Come in and get the eyes to sit. Go around with two or three turns. Just make sure they're kind of level where you are. To be quite look. Yeah, it looks just a wee tad longer than the one on this side, so I'm just going to pull it in. Always check. If you're not happy, you can always go back. It's okay. Two or three turns to tighten. Fold back these for security or. Basically you do this, your fly will last that much longer, It'll, the eyes have got to break off, they can't be pulled out. Just form a nice head, you can either break away or have to cut these off. There you go. If you can break them off you get a neater cut, but sometimes they'll not do that, so you just put it again with the scissors. And then you're basically going to tidy up the head area. Got a wee bit of fluff there, so I'm just going to make sure it's tidy. And just checking. It's okay. Keep always keeping the thread nice and tight. And then I can come in. While I'm doing the whip finish, I'm actually tidying the head area as well. And then there we are. Now to finish the fly, what we're going to do is just get some clear varnish. Come all the way around. Now a couple of coats will finish the fly, just allow the first one to dry.